Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Brandon. Welcome to Audio Addiction. We have Mayor C with us today, and they can say their names and what they do in the band. I'm Justin, and I'm the bass player. I'm Nick. I play guitar and sing backup. Oh, nice. All right. Well, funny story. Big shout out to Raleigh V for hooking it up. Oh, yeah. He's my guy. I love him. If you didn't check out our track by track, go do that. That was fun. Um, but anyway, guys, I literally know nothing about your band, so <laughs> this is going to be very fun. So Me either. <laughs> the, f <laughs> the first question is, is how did you start out Mercy? Where did you get your members? You know, the whole origin story. Uh, that's a Nick question. <laughs> uh, so Mercy originated as my high school band oh, two wow. names ago in 2012. Oh, shit. That's when Seth and I met. We met a little bit before that, and we started playing together. Okay. Um, and then Seth was also playing in a band with uh, Colby and Jack at okay. different points, and they okay. all went to school together. And we kind of just merged the two. Okay. At some point, we needed a bass player. I played in a band with Justin, brought him in, and then we uh, tore under the name His Dream of Lions for, what, five years? Something like that? Sounds about right. Um, ended up getting an offer from Rise as we were pitching, and... Oh, ended really? up uh, awesome. si signing, doing the rebrand, and very cool. Getting to put out a our first record, we just put uh, two EPs: Subtle oh, Fiction cool. One and Two. Stream it. Go check it out. Um, and now we're here. We've just started playing our first shows as Mayor okay, C, cool. like in late February, um, and looking to to do a lot more this this year. Very cool. Well, that's awesome. Uh, and then. How I think we, we talked about it on lunch, but like, how has Rise been? Because for me, Rise is like, I think about them as like Rise core bands. You know, you think about post hardcore, yeah. you think about metalcore, you think about crabcore, and all that stuff. And you're like, why would they like? And they went through a period where they would just sign like indie bands and like sure. pop bands. And I was just like, I know that's not your lane, but I'm gonna let you do it because it's. I don't make. I don't cast the checks. I don't sign anything. So. Yeah. How does it feel to be on Rise Records as like a pop artist? Because I feel like it feels good. Honestly, uh, I've been really enjoying the experience with Rise. Uh, everyone has been super nice, super friendly. Very cool. Um, and uh, as far as like being a, a more pop oriented act, I haven't, I haven't felt like an outsider. You know okay. what I mean? Yeah. So that's I, good. I'm not having any issues at all, and I. I kind of enjoy that. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, we're talking about it now. It's like an yeah. interesting conversation piece. You know what I mean? So yeah. I'm, I'm truly having a great time. That's awesome. Well, I'm glad. You want to, you got anything, Nick? Uh, Circa is also on the label. And that's giant, true, you guys. Giant Circa fanboy. Uh, we're in Pennsylvania, baby. So oh, that's yeah. the home, hometown shit. Oh, yeah. Shout out to CJ. He's from Doylestown. We're, Doylestown. We're, uh, oh, yeah. we're Circa's from. So shout that's awesome. But next question, guys. This is one that's going to be fun because, again, I know nothing about your band. So <laughs> who are you guys influenced by? Who got you started out in music? And then who influences Mercy more currently now? Um, man. Um, well, it's interesting because when all of us individually were growing up and becoming musicians, you know, we were all into the, like, hardcore and metal and yeah, like yeah. punk kind of scene and so it's interesting for us to be playing like more pop oriented music yeah um so it's kind of nice it's it's like a bunch of metal and hardcore and like seeing kids <laughs> grew up and we're like yo queen and sia are like actually kind of have it going on <laughs> you know um fair enough and uh yeah i i know um queen and and sia and I'm, I'm sure you can think of a bunch of others that have been a huge influence on on seth who's the lead singer and, and lyricist and doing all that stuff. I mean, he's just, he's on his own. <laughs> he's on his own shit. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he's phenomenal. That's he's awesome. Great. Yeah. Nick. <laughs> um, throw in my chem. Seth oh, would be yeah. pissed at us if we didn't. Oh, no. oh and Fall Out hey. Boy. I know both of those were huge for him. Yeah. Um, and then how it kind of works with us as Mayor C, like he's a, big focus in the songwriting aspect and we get to approach it as mm -hmm. instrumentalists and because it's that pop uh such a broad kind of yeah, thing yeah. it allows us to go as far as we want to take it like i love like i mean circa the post-rock stuff but like also like jeff beck and gary oh, Moore. Cool. so nice. like some of the blues elements some of the jazz there's like country licks hidden through it <laughs> we all get to have those moments yeah. i think 
as we like go through the songs and respond in a certain way. Yeah, there's there's slap bass on this on. Uh, oh yeah, what? Yeah. Oh and, okay. And, and okay. fretless bass, which is awesome. It's like I never thought I would get an opportunity to record that. Sure. Alone, yeah. Being like a sign to rise and then like slap and play fretless like that's Yeah. <laughs> so much fun. It's a dream. Yeah, it really is. Living the dream. Exactly. <laughs> that's very cool. Like for me, like I feel like as being still in that scene but also like trying to just because of the channel i try to broaden my horizons as like a listener i've gotten really into like pop music like alt music recently and Mm -hmm. i think it's helped me like understand and like grow more as like an as like just a listener and kind of like understanding that like okay like there can be stuff that i like that's heavy but also at the same point there's stuff that i can like that is like more in the pop sphere. Like, I love Dua Lipa. Oh like, my she's God. fantastic. You know, like. I've, heard <laughs> I've been listening to Doja Cat and Dua oh, Lipa Do- nonstop. Yeah, Doja Cat's tight too. I'm driving Nick insane. The I whole Nick, drive Nick up here, insane. I was just like, you want to listen to Doja Cat? And he's like, sure. And then I just repeat the album and he's like, okay, please, please stop. Yes. Else. I feel, I feel you. I feel but about that. I'm not going to stop. <laughs> I'm just not. No. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Nick's like I'm just not. Uh, we're just gonna we're gonna have a talk after this interview. <laughs> Next question. Uh, <laughs> I've heard a lot worse music played in the van. That's true. There, that's true. I can only imagine. <laughs> there has been no experimental jazz this trip. Uh, so, man, yeah, so. you really need to get on that. I know. I'm, I was trying to save everyone's ears, but honestly, an album you should guys should listen to on the way home if you haven't yet. The new Gold Necklace record. Mm. I don't know if you've listened I to that. Listened to it yet. I heard the first single from it. Yeah. I need to check out the record. But the whole I loved, thing. I love the first Chef's single. Chef's Kiss. Let, I'm game. We yeah. got a two-hour drive tonight. I'm sure we there can you go. There you go. Absolutely. All right, guys. Next question. We talked about it, so I wanted you to save this answer. Why did you guys decide the name Mercy? There are two answers to that. Give me both. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm going to press you for it. So, um, Well, uh, the first answer is uh, it's thank you in French. Correct. And uh, that's just kind of a, an attitude that we try and purvey. Or, um, <laughs> <laughs> that is an attitude that we try to convey. Um, and... Um, you know, because we're just we're just thankful for anybody who even takes the time to listen to it, sure. let alone yeah. comes to a show, buys a T-shirt, like any of that stuff. It, we're just you should do anyway. You, I, yeah, if, I will, I'll say it. Do I'll it. be grateful. <laughs> so grateful. I mean, thank you. Honestly, that's that's the whole thing. Um, and the other one is uh, the other answer is um, rebrand, name change. Oh, Our old name okay. was very long and. Uh, Kind of this, like, from my understanding, what happened was uh, we weren't getting much uh, response from, like, trying to get on labels. And then our manager was just like, I'm going to throw in a fake name and see how it goes. And then immediately, what? like, <laughs> there was a conversation. <laughs> and we were just like, okay, got it. So That is nuts. Yeah. I've never heard that. And I've been doing this shit for six years. That's kind of crazy. I Yeah. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, that's pretty spot on, <laughs> but the thought was, it was mercy, but let's spell it wrong. And oh. none of us were really excited about that. So we just, Went oh, mercy. it's mercy. Yeah. Cool. Got it. <laughs> we, we got suggestions for like trying to do like, in, uh, you know how like Paris. Yeah. We were I trying to get like different, va- uh, consonants and, and, vowels, <laughs> and, and we were like, uh, no, thank you. I don't really want to do that. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. So, merci. I mean, we're just grateful for doing any of this. It's a two-fold answer. It's a two, yes. I got you. Thank you. You're welcome. (laughs) Next question, guys. You kind of already answered it, but um, what have you guys been listening to recently? And just what's on on your Spotify? What's going on? Uh, Dominic Fike, everything that he does. Okay, okay. Absolutely love it. Mm Hmm. Anderson Pack, nice uh, Anderson Pack. That new Silk Sonic album is on point. I would agree. Uh, what else have I been listening to? Oh, and Angles put out a new record. Oh, they're, they're from Jersey. Yeah, yeah they're great. They're fantastic. Uh, I've seen them. 
we got to have them at a house show in DC in uh, oh, like Virginia. What? It was amazing. That's so sick. They're great. Fantastic band. Shout out to Dana Angles. Um, I've been listening to I've been like very groove oriented, so I've okay. been listening to a lot of like pop stuff, uh, some Latin stuff, um, just anything that like has a kind of bounce and has something as a bass player for me to like latch onto. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, groove is just one of those things where it's like the more you do it and the more you listen and the more you play and just get locked in with that groove, the better and better it'll get. And so yeah. I'm like really in that phase where I'm just like, I put on Lizzo's juice the other day and played along to it for like two hours, you know, That's it's just hard. like the same, the same line for two hours. It's just like the most entertaining thing. Uh, so that's where I've been at. I've picked up the bass over quarantine. So I've been trying to figure out all the bass licks for Dua Lipa's uh, future nostalgia. Oh, and yeah, they're, that's fi- a, they're kind of fire. They are. And like, I'm not even upset that they're like, some of them are programmed. I'm just like, this is so perfect. This is so great. Yeah. yeah. She's uh, fantastic. Yeah, I'm doing the same thing. I'm very slowly working my way through learning that whole album. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fun, too. Like, just the riffs. I'm oh like, my gosh. yeah, this is kind of tight. It's, I'm not a bass player by any stretch, but. No, I mean, hey, you can play. Then you're a bass player. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, what is the, uh, what is the old joke? Um, uh, first week, uh, the teacher taught the bass player the first string, all the notes on the first string. Then the second week, the notes on the se- uh, second string. And then never heard from the student again until one day he saw him at a bar playing and he was like, where have you been? And he's like, oh, dude, I just, I got busy with gigs, man. I couldn't make it to the lessons. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I made that joke about bass. That's okay. <laughs> I'm a bass player and I remember when I first heard that joke, I was like, I kind of don't like this. And now you're making them. And now I'm making it because I hate to say it, but it's kind of true. <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, next question. Personal favorite of mine, if you could pick a song to cover, what would it be? Oh. Um, As Mayor C, I just want to mm, preface yeah, that. Yeah. Um, man, I keep thinking Backstreet Boys. Ooh, okay. I could, I could vibe with that. Yeah. I think that would be fun. I think that would Do be you have really a specific time. one? No. Nope. Justin? No? No. Okay. That's just the first thing that came to mind. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, He's going to be in the comments and be like, this is the Backstreet song I picked. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, see Just me for in the, the comments. <laughs> uh, can I get two answers? Two to, you can two give me two. Second? Yeah. All right. Still Feel Like Your Man by John Mayer. Or The Husband, is it The Husband, The Salesman, The Lover by The Receiving End of Sirens. Oh, that's a good one too, man. Those are two great choices. My love of post-rock is showing. Yes, it is. And I feel the John Mayer one as being a John Mayer stan. Respect. I feel like those are good choices. But guys, if you have some choices for Mayor C, drop them in the comments. Oh, Who knows? Maybe they those. maybe they'll wind up doing the cover. You know, I can't guarantee anything. I'm just telling you, I pitched it to you. But uh, next question, guys, for people who are like me who has never heard of Mayor C, what would be a song you would recommend to l- them to listen to first? Um, either the palm or uh, dance. Um, I think both of those songs are really cool in their own way. Okay. Um, you know, the palm is a little bit, or it's, it's significantly darker, and in my opinion, more cinematic. Whereas dance is exactly just what the fun. title says. <laughs> um, yeah. The vibes. What do you think? I mean, I'd say the exact same thing. I think they occupy. A, they're the beginning and the end of our record for a reason. Oh, they exactly. start the journey and they end it, and they're arranged in that way. Um, and I think they show like how contrasting we can get from like the okay. rock to experimental pop okay. elements. And I think there's just a lot of fun to play personally. Do you have a favorite to play live currently right now? Cause I know you guys played here at launch. Yeah. Um, man, dance is just so much fun. Um, the, yeah, I love the groove and dance. That is so so much fun to play. City haircut as a the, the bass part in that is a lot of fun. We lock up in some fills for that. And that's <laughs> just so entertaining. Um, yeah, and the palm is also so much okay. fun to play. Okay. They're all fun to play. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna go with the palm. It's as an opener both in the record and live, uh, it's just a lot of space. Mm-hmm. And for me as a guitar player, it allows me to just kinda go off and start to set a mood. Yeah. And then it gets really aggressive, and that's I feel like that's really rewarding as a player. Yeah. It's like really gets you in the moment, and then yeah. it's time to start like gives you the vibes. The onslaught of whatever is about to happen. Very cool, guys. Next question. 
Another fun one. Favorite food to eat? Uh, burritos. That's funny. Shout out to Rob Burritos. Yeah. We just ate there today. And we did. I was so stoked about that. It was delish. A very good barbecue burrito. Um, sushi. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I can vibe with that. I can, I can definitely dig a good sushi. Yeah. Maybe we'll get that later. Ooh. Um, next question. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I have CJ behind the camera, and he was shaking his arm, and I couldn't exactly do <laughs> we're gonna do it after this but anyway next question guys if uh you could have any one feature on your next record who would you want dominic fike again <laughs> tom mish would be cool Ooh. and then of course i just keep going to dua lipa because she's amazing dua lipa i was just i mean we're, we're talking about dreams right and then yes. nothing is out of the realm of possibility that's true yeah so guys, what you need to do is you, you, you take your phone out right now. You go on twitter.com or you just open the Twitter app. You type in Merci. The band. The band on Twitter. And then you tag Dua Lipa and just say collab question mark. That, and I think, you know, I think I've done my work here. You know, that's, that's all I'm going to say. That's marketing 101. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> who knows? But you should definitely do that. And who knows? Maybe maybe we'll see a Dua Lipa Mercy collab. Uh, I would literally cry. Insert year here. I'm just saying. Find it out there, guys. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, next question. If there was another musical instrument you could master, what would it be? Uh, piano or drums? Drummers always seem like they're having the most fun. Drum, yeah. I was going to say drummers. It's the same answer. If if it's to create piano, because the options are limitless, if, if it's to play, the drums just seem so rewarding. I feel that. I'm like the type of guy that you see when you like pull up and do just like fucking air drumming. That's me. Yeah. I'm just going hard all day, every day, you know. <laughs> I love uh, that. But uh, next question, guys. My personal favorite, the one I ask all the time, if there was a video game character you wish you could be, who is it? I know. This one seemed. Oh, I think I may have. I think I, I think I may have exploded. broken Justin. <laughs> just by chance. Damn. I asked the hard question. That so is just actually you know. a tough question. I like haven't played video games in quite some time. So it's okay. I'm, like really. You're just really jogging here. the memory. Yeah, I'm like, what was what? Is, what even was the last video game I played? Like that has like a a character. You know what I mean. <laughs> Any answer will suffice. I'll hand this to you. I know this is going to feel like a cop-out answer, but on PS2, there was this incredible Harry Potter game, and there's going to be a new one. Yes, there is going to be a new so one. So I got to say Harry. All right. I respect that. I respect I that. I be a wizard. Big ups. I'm just going to say something super obscure. Uh, Metropolis Mania 2 from – or just Metropolis Mania from PS, uh, PS2. What? Uh, you're basically a man in a banana yellow suit with a top hat just going around and building a city with a little piece of chalk, but his <laughs> chalk draws streets. So, you know. And it's basically his, he's like hired by a company to like go to an island and like develop this city. I want to be the banana suit man and like create a city and be like, you need a hospital over here? I got you. You need, yeah. It's like Chalk Zone, but a little bit different. <laughs> oh, You're like that's two steps back. removed from Seth's probable answer, and it's the Jurassic Park Simulator. <laughs> <laughs> there, there are videos, I think, on our Instagram somewhere of that being played. <laughs> Seth gets into it. Clear, if it's on your Instagram, I feel like that's a par for the course. Yeah. You know? But I have to give, I have to give Justin the award for the most obscure answer I think yes, I've heard I get a prize, on this, right? on this channel. That means the sushi's free? The, uh, <laughs> well, that's the video. <laughs> I am a starving artist. <laughs> um, but those are good. I definitely think that I did not expect you to do the banana suit thing. Yeah, what's actually really upsetting is I loved that game as a child, and I went to see if I could like purchase it again to play it as an adult, and like the internet did not like that game. <laughs> Hello, guys. We're back. We totally did not have audio that may or may not get scrapped for something. So anyway, uh, the next question, guys, if you were to compile a Dream Tour lineup, including Merci, who would be on it? 
like dream for me or like as a tour package dream as a tour package but also for you if you want could be double fold answer here you go <laughs> hmm. um i have to say my chem or yes Seth will be mad. respect um just throw john mayer in there for me respect I would absolutely love that. John Bellion, yeah. Glory Sound Prep is a Ooh. masterpiece. John Bellion is a genius. Um, throw Dominic Fike in there and Anderson Pack and call Ooh. it a day. That's clean. I'm about it. I'm about it. Any show with Bruno Mars would be amazing. His live stuff, I've been listening to that a lot. His live shows are just so much fun. Okay. I'll have to check it out. I think collectively that, that sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Justin just... Def- like just like I don't really want to answer this, so How I'm do I gonna deflect. Take, <laughs> I'm gonna take Nick's answer. Yeah. So We're anyway, team. guys, if you want that tour to happen, I've already explained it to you, but yeah. you know, you know how social media works because we're on it right now, in 2020. Too. Uh, I'm just kidding. Anyway, <laughs> next question, guys. Um, what band puts on a great live performance in terms of musicians that you've seen? The Chariot. Oh. I n- it changed my life. I got to see them on in, in Richmond. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I don't know Just if I need to hand it to you. <laughs> I got to see them in Richmond on their farewell tour. Oh. With Glass Cloud, Rebuker. Uh, there's one other band in there. Uh, Birds in Row. Oh. Um, and Glass what? Cloud's from Virginia, so that. That yeah, that was – you yeah. tore the roof off that place. It was amazing. Yes. It changed how I view, like, performing and everything because that experience is just so yeah. insane. That's and ingrained cathartic. in your memory forever. It yeah. changed who I am as a performer. I feel and that. It's, it was the, one of the best nights ever. Big respect. Uh, I'm sorry, what was the question again? Uh, favorite band you've seen live? Oh, that I've seen live? Yes. Ooh, I saw Under Oath do the reunion of They're Only Chasing Safety. We were talking about that earlier. I also that, saw that. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a show to remember for sure. That was pretty insane. And we saw uh, we actually went together, Taking Back Sunday, do the reunion of uh, oh um, um, anniversary of um, uh, Louder Now. Yeah, that was awesome. That's a flex. Yeah, I like that. I got one more since you got one more. Okay. <laughs> um, I think you played this show that at Empire. Better off and bad luck. Yeah. Incredible. Go listen to both of those bands. They're great. They're amazing. Inc- absolutely mind blowing live. I can can agree. Those are both great bands. Yeah. But I do feel the Under Oath one because I uh, not to flex, but I do have a poster um, of their last show that they did, like their farewell show, mm-hmm. and I have a poster and it's all signed by them. Damn. That will never don't come into my house and fucking steal it, or I'll be really pissed off. But and also my insurance covers it. But fuck you. But also, <laughs> secondly, great choice. And then the chariot, gotta give it to you, Nick. Yeah. That's that band. I've they've been brought up a lot more recently in my interviews. So you know, I just gotta show that band so much love and rest in peace because obviously they're no Long longer. Long live. Long live the chariot, guys. Anyway, next question: favorite TV show, favorite movie. <laughs> I feel like I'm just. I feel like I'm just. Every I feel like I am just hurting no, Justin. I, I like, just he, like I am gonna cut this so well to the point where every time I ask Justin a question, it's almost like just a gut punch. <laughs> I feel. The problem is I watch so many TV shows <laughs> that it's like I can't pick a favorite. But honestly, like I'm I'm a really big MCU fan. Um, we did talk about that. Yeah. So I think right now I'm. Loki is in my like, is in my top. And as far as movies go, damn, like, when was the last movie I even watched? I like how you're looking over at Nick. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Well, we probably watched it together. To be oh, okay. honest, fair enough. Um, favorite TV show, Scrubs. Ooh, yes, yes. Favorite movie, Rain Over Me, with Adam Sandler and Don Cheadle. Ooh, That's, okay, okay, okay. Would recommend. That's I like that one. I like it. Pick a favorite movie. Um, I'm gonna go with the first Iron Man. Cause oh, nice. Okay. I can watch that movie any day of the week. I watch it when I'm in a bad mood. I watch it when I'm in a good mood. It's a great movie. Yeah. I know everybody says it's not 
great, but Everyone's I think there's wrong. objectively worse movies in the MCU. I, I just yeah. want to say that. Absolutely. I'm not going to say what movies because I'm not trying to die, but yeah. I was about to say it. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave it alone. That's that's. It's right here, and we're just gonna leave it here, and that's where it's gonna stay. So, but anyway, guys, another question. You're trapped on a desert island, and there was one album you could bring with you for the next month. What would it be? Oh, Future Nostalgia. For sure. <laughs> I'm already. That was the first. Yeah, this already, is the first time you've got to be like, right away. I'm already living that life. I'm that's right. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Nick. Um. Manchester Orchestra's Cope. That's a good one. That, I don't hear that one too often, oh, that's so amazing. respect. Respect. Uh, kind of last question, guys. Um, for people who have made it all the way to the end, thank you for watching, first of all. Secondly, what do you want people to take away from Mercy, whether it be like from a music perspective, uh, lyrical perspective, or kind of a combination of two? You know, what do you want people to know about Mercy? <laughs> great um what do i want you to know about us um is that uh we love making the music and um everything is uh intentional you know we we do our best and it means a lot to us and even taking a second to listen to it is uh incredible um we just want to have fun and we want you to have fun uh we want the songs to feel good and, and invoke the emotions that they do and to feel whatever you feel when you listen to it. Fair enough. Nick, got an answer? I mean, the only thing that I can really think of is that it's all all the stuff on the record and it's all kind of up to your own interpretation. Sure. It's meant to yeah. be that open-ended thing where you can take kind of what you need from it. I know I have, and that's not necessarily the things that Seth may have envisioned, but... Sure. It's all how you kind of perceive it. There we go. And the last thing, guys, the most important thing, the reason you're on here, you know, tell people where they can find Mare Seat, what you guys have coming up in the next couple months, and uh, anything else you'd like to plug or talk about. Yeah, we, uh, we have two EPs out, Subtle Fiction 1 and Subtle Fiction 2. Uh, they're on Spotify. They're on Apple Music. They're everywhere. Uh, <laughs> Instagram, um, TikTok, uh, Twitter is uh, Mare Seat the Band. Um, yeah, the two EPs. That's really what I want to plug. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to them when you sleep. Turn it off. I don't care. <laughs> it's, it's just <laughs> <laughs> click play. <laughs> click play. Click play. Follow, like, anything. If you so, if you like anything we do, please just interact with it. Give it a chance. I'm just gonna at rise right now and say, uh, can you make vinyl? Because I'll buy it and it will be added to my collection. So. Just saying, I know vinyl's a little weird right now, but it would be very cool if those two were maybe on a vinyl record, just saying. Yeah. yeah. So go check out Mercy. Again, me, huge shout-out to Raleigh V for hooking it up because he's the man and I love him. Absolutely. So go give him some love. But if you enjoy Mercy, go check the links in the description where you can find out about the band, music, anything that comes to your city. Go see them. We unfortunately miss them, but I can guarantee you they'll be coming back to our area soon. So I'm very stoked on that. And uh, if you enjoyed this interview, share, like, subscribe. It goes a long way. But huge thanks to Mercy for coming on, chatting. Thank you, know, you for shit. having us. Oh, no problem. Yeah, this is great. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Peace. Bye.